Hey guys, so this isn't going to be a really peppy video. Last week, my friend Jaya, who was in two of my videos, um, committed suicide by jumping off the roof of her grandma's apartment building. Now, as you may have seen in the videos, she didn't seem all that depressed on the outside, but the inside was a much different, uglier story. She posted on Facebook about petitions that people had started to make her commit suicide, and that even though she had gotten medication from her therapist, she didn't want to take it because she didn't want to stop having suicidal thoughts, and that she didn't want to stop self-harming. Now, I had known Jaya for a while, since about 7th grade, and though she never explicitly told me that she was depressed or she was into self-harming, I knew because I saw the scars, but I didn't think she was sad. Whenever she was with me or any other of our friends, she always seemed really happy. She never seemed like she wasn't there, that she was thinking about something else. She always seemed sarcastic and funny and just in the moment, you know? Now when my friends and I heard about this, it was a really big shock because we obviously didn't know that she was having these problems. And since then, it's been tough. You just have to make that choice and reach out for some. I don't know if I should be able to laugh or smile again because, you know, she won't be able to. But then there's the fact that I'm angry at myself for not doing anything because I saw those Facebook statuses. And I was always like, yeah, I'm here for you, you know, call me if you need to. But I never actively tried to do anything. And then I'm pissed at her for choosing this permanent solution to a temporary problem and not choosing to talk about it to our therapist or our parents or us. But considering all that's happened, I feel like we can do something about it. See, she had a therapist, but therapists are actual people. And humans don't like communicating their emotions, or at least I don't. And so Jai didn't always tell her therapist everything. Her therapist probably didn't even know that she wasn't taking her meds or that she wanted to self-harm again, but her Facebook page clearly said that. I made a petition on whitehouse.gov to make sure that every patient who is seeing a therapist or psychologist or anybody like that will have their social media accounts monitored. I feel as though if Jaya had had that, then she would still be here today. She would have been hospitalized or something and she probably wouldn't have liked it, but it would have made everything a lot easier. So I'm sorry I don't have a really peppy or happy video for you guys, but I hope this just goes to show you that even if you are depressed and you feel like this is the lowest you've ever been in your life, there's always people around you. You may not see them, you may not know them, but even if you're feeling alone, you still have friends, you still have family, you still have therapists, you have doctors, you have people all around you who are willing to help you before you do anything too drastic. I just want to say that Jaya was one of the most fun-loving, sarcastic, hilarious, gorgeous people I knew, and I hope that wherever she is, she's looking down on us and I hope she's finally happy. Even though I hate what she did, I'll always love Jaya and I'll always cherish her as one of the best friends I ever had.